Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I will try to explain you the zeroth law of thermodynamics and what does this zeroth law say? It's very simple, basically. If these two thermodynamic systems, yeah, these two glasses with the water, are in thermal equilibrium with the third thermodynamic system, which is also a glass of water, so if, if, they are, if these two are in thermal equilibrium with third thermodynamic systems, that means that they are in thermal equilibrium between themselves. And thermal equilibrium basically means that all these three glasses of water have the same temperature. So how to describe this thermal equilibrium? For example, we have now a big and a small glass of water. This one, bigger one, it has a higher temperature. So if I put here the thermometer, I think the temperature should rise step by step. I don't know how fast is my digital thermometer, but you will see that it will change. Yeah, it rises 24 already, yeah, 24 degrees, even higher. So basically, so this has the high temperature and this one has the lower temperature. So how to achieve a thermal equilibrium in such a system? So if I put the colder glass in this hotter glass, after some time, after a certain time passes, these two glasses of water and the water inside of this glass and this bigger mug will be in thermal equilibrium. That means the colder water will become warmer water. Yeah. So why do we need this zero law of thermodynamics? Yeah, it helps us to define the notion of temperature. Temperature is basically measurable and universal property of matter. And because it is universal and measurable, we are able to define a scales. And we have a two scales by which we measure temperature. The first scale is the Fahrenheit scale, where the zero Kelvin is the lowest possible temperature you can achieve. And the Celsius scale, zero degrees Celsius is the temperature where water becomes to freeze, and the 100 degrees Celsius is the temperature where the water becomes to boil. Well, it would be much more easier if I could show you this, this water in the infrared spectrum, yeah? like on these images on the right side. You would see that the colder, colder water would be some kind of blue temperature and the hot water would be some kind of red or orange. So, so it's much more easier to follow this thermodynamic process if you have the infrared camera, because you really see do change in temperature uh, with in, in colors. So that would be that would be much more easy. So you will see. So we started with zero flow because it's a fundamental, and it helps us to define the first, second, and third law of thermodynamics, which will come in my next videos. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.